I'm going to leave you two papers which discuss similar topic. The first paper was published in 2007 on cancer letters, and the title is Inhibition of Test 3 Increases Doxorubicin Sensitivity in a Human Metastatic Breast Cancer Cell Line. And the second paper, which was published in 2010 on biochemical pharmacology, is Inhibition of the JAX Test 3 Pathway by Andrographolite Enhances Chemical Sensitivity of Cancer Cells to Doxorubicin. Both of the papers suggest that test 3 pathway increases doxorubicin sensitivity in human breast cancer cells. STEM molecule is an abbreviation of signaling transducers and activators of transcription. STES3 is one of the STEP family. STES3 is mainly activated by JEX, and these JEX test 3 pathways are known to regulate cell growth, survival, and differentiation. The activation factors of STES3 are cytokines including interleukin-6 and 11, interferons and interleukin-5 and 6. When STES3 is activated, it regulates transcription of specific target genes such as anti-apoptotic proteins, BCL-XL for example, or proliferation regulatory proteins like cyclin D1 and MYC. Among the family, STES3 is the most intimately linked to tumor regenesis. Many research determined that STES3 is related to cancer metastasis, immune evasion, proliferation, invasion, anti-apoptosis, and epithelial mesenchymal transition and angiogenesis in various kinds of cancers. Also, high levels of STES3 activity have been found to predict intrinsic chemotherapy resistance. Breast cancer is not an exception. Constitutively activated STES3 can promote the pathogenesis of aggressive breast tumors. Now let's see the first paper's results. In this paper, the researchers checked that STES3 and post-post-STES3 level in two types of breast cancer cell lines. The first Western block data shows that beta levels of TES3 and phosphatase 3 are both higher in ER-negative breast cancer, MDA and B231, than ER-positive breast cancer, MCF7. And doxorubicin revision treatment increased phosphatase 3 level in both cell lines, but most notably in MDA and B231 cells. They treated JAG inhibitor, AG490, to see its effect on phosphatase 3 and the results show decreased phosphatase 3 level in AG490 treated condition. Moreover, doxorubicin and JAG inhibitor co-treatment significantly increased apoptotic cell deaths compared to control. They also made ne negative dominant stress vector. When the negative dominant stress vector was transfected to MDA and B231 cells, the doxorubicin mediated cell death ratio was increased in the transfected cells. It can be an indirect evidence of STES3 as a doxorubicin resistant related molecule. Also, the transfected cells with dominant negative STES3 vector showed reduction of cell survival related proteins, BCLXL, and surviving. The STES3 inhibitor treatment also increased the cell deaths of doxorubicin treated cells, same as JAG inhibitor. Until now, I showed some key results of the first paper, and now I will introduce the results of the next paper. The second paper used a drug named as andrographolite, which was isolated from a traditional herbal medicine. This andro treatment decreased phosphatase 3 level in time and dose dependent manner. IL-6 treatment phosphorylated STES3 in MDA and B231 cells, but pretreatment pre of andro for 4 hours almost abolished the phosphorylation of STES3. The research team used 4 different types of cancer cells to see the effect of andro. Human colon cancer HCT116, triple negative human breast cancer MDA and B231, Human hepatocytes HEP2 and cervical cancer HELA cells were used. The four cell lines basally express STES3 and phosphatase 3 and die when doxorubicin is treated. However, pretreatment of andrographolite before doxorubicin enhanced cell deaths in four cancer cells. 
When Andrew and Dr. Vishen were co treated, the evidence of apoptosis, caspate 3, and PARP cleavage was observed. According to the final Western blood data of this paper, Andrew inhibited phosphorylation of STAS3 and the STAS3 downstream molecules, BCLXL, MCL1, and cyclin D1, also down regulated in co treatment condition. In conclusion, Doxorbition treatment increased phosphostestrial level in MDA and B2 story 1 cells. Reducing phosphostestrial level through upstream inhibitor, age 490, or dominant negative test 3 plus mid transfection, decreased cell viability against doxorbition treatment in MDA and B2 story 1 cells. Also, test 3 seems to be related with cytotoxic drug resistance by regulating cell survival factors such as BCLXN surviving. Endographolite, an extracted medicine from the stem and leaves of traditional hulp, reduced phosphorylation of test 3. This endographolite pretreatment increased oxorbicin sensitivity in various cancer cells, inducing colon cancer and breast cancer A due to phosphorus test 3 inhibition. So, according to these papers, test 3 inhibition could be a candidate target to increase oxorbicin sensitivity for breast cancer cells.